Right now, we're seeing an increase in mpox cases in the county, and while medical officials aren't necessarily concerned about those numbers, they are urging people to be proactive when it comes to this disease. This is something that we need to get a handle on, especially as cases rise, because those cases are contagious. According to Allegheny County's website, there's been an increase in mpox, formerly known as monkeypox. The disease causes a painful rash, enlarged lymph nodes, and fever. It's always continued to kind of simmer and spread among sexual networks in the United States. When we're looking at the numbers, Allegheny County has 11 confirmed cases so far this year. 10 of those cases reported in April alone. This compared to 2023 when there were only two cases, a significant decrease from 2022 when there were a total of 71 cases. Dr. Amish Adalja, an infectious disease physician, explains the disease never went away, but the two dose vaccine did help curb cases when numbers went up up in 2022, which he is now also recommends. The key thing is making sure that everybody that's in the high risk population has the standard two dose regimen of the vaccine. That's what really puts this to an end and that people are thinking about their behavior when, for example, Pride Week is coming up so that they don't inadvertently spread this to other individuals. Dr. Adalja says the contagious disease primarily was spreading between men having sex with other men. Some symptoms include rash, fever, chills, headache, and more. Dr. Adalja going on to say he doesn't believe there will be a major public health threat, but it could be debilitating to some who have other infections like HIV. So this is something that we need to get a handle on, especially as cases rise, because those cases are contagious. So this is something that can be containable with a safe and effective vaccine and with behavior change and testing. But it's something that you don't want to be behind. You want to be proactive with. And if you're experiencing any symptoms, reach out to your physician for testing. You can also go to this free public health clinic. For now, reporting in Pittsburgh's Middle Hill neighborhood, Ava Rash, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.